guys welcome back today i'm going to start another vlog for you i've been feeling really good the past couple of weeks just like steaming through my to-do lists but i've woken up today and i just don't want to do anything on my list it is just a bunch of like computery chorey admin style things but it's also a list of those things, you know, that you just put off and put off and put off. And, you know, I finally put them on my, like, list for today. And I just don't want to do any of them. I feel a bit tired. I just feel a bit <sighs> burned out, maybe, a little bit. Of trying to keep on top of everything <laughs> at the moment. But I'm going to try and push through a little bit. And we'll see how we go. But also going to try and give myself a bit of grace if... I don't get everything done on my list today, which I do find hard because I love it when I take everything off. I haven't had any breakfast yet or any caffeine, so I think that might help the situation. So I'm gonna go do that. Please forgive me, my lads. I'm just gonna film this little bit on my iPhone because I left my camera downstairs and if I don't film it now, it won't get filmed. But just got the little one up from her nap. Um, she gave me enough time this morning to actually get through most of what I wanted to do. So we're sort of on schedule, which has made me feel a little bit better. I've had a coffee, I've eaten some food, so I'm feeling a bit better. <laughs> and I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. So I'm wearing this gorgeous um, dress. Sorry for the crinkly noises, by the way. And the chatting. <laughs> she is playing with one of her favorite toys right now but anyway i'm wearing this gorgeous um shirt dress from a band called ian snow saw it on facebook i actually saw a similar dress um in a different colorway on facebook and i'm mum now so i keep getting completely suckered in by facebook adverts for clothes don't know what's going on with me but anyway went on their website found this fun one which is yellow and blue which is such a fun color combination um, but yeah, anyway, so these dresses are all made out of recycled sari material and I just thought it was such a nice shape like to throw on, good for breastfeeding obviously because it's, you know, a shirt. If I'd been pregnant in the summer or something, I feel like this would be such a nice um, piece to wear, so good for a bump. Wearing this gorgeous dress, because these are all one of a kind, I don't know that they'll have this exact colourway, but I will link the dresses down below so you can have a look. I think I got mine in a small or an extra small and they do them in various sizes obviously but the sizes are limited in different colorways but anyway so obviously it's quite a statement piece and i knew when i bought this that i wanted to toughen it up that's how i wanted to style it so i'm wearing it with these um doc martens just went with the originals i just thought they would work nicely today so yes little docks and then I've got this um, Lulu Studios blazer on top. The reason I chose a blazer rather than any of my other sort of leather jackets is because it's like a shirt style so it kind of shirt and blazer but a different take on it if you know what I mean. So yes that is today's outfit guys. Um, I have of course chosen the wrong day to wear it because it's actually cooler today than it has been um, recently. <laughs> So I think I'm going to be a bit chilly in this, but do you know what? I've chosen it now. There's no going back. I think I'm going to try and take Inez out for a walk. Um, just We're just literally going to walk around, I think, maybe to the nearest park, around the nearest park and back. But like I said in my last vlog, I do like to try and get out if and when we can. Also, I noticed that her little PJs are also yellow and blue, which is... Cute. I think these are from m and and Zach's mum got us these and they're really nice quality. Anyway, I need to get this one dressed for the day too. We had to rush back from our walk because there were suddenly a lot of sleepy cues and I was like, I need to get this baby in the snoo. I'm, I'm not opposed to pram naps or anything. Just for today, it wasn't necessary for us to be out and have a pram nap. 
and I'd rather her come back here and have a proper sleep. So yes, we rushed back. <laughs> so our walk was not as long as I was expecting it to be. Um, and I've been meaning to tell you all day and just have a sit and a chat about it, but I just haven't had a minute. But we were getting our Peloton delivered today. Oh, there's a little bit of rolling going on, but a little bit of confusion. If you hear some noises of frustration right now, a lot of our floor time includes those noises at the moment because she can do some things, but she can't do others. Come up here with Mama. So yes, I have caved, I have bought a Peloton. Um, I have been wanting one for ages, to be honest. They are so bloody expensive that I've been putting it off and putting it off, but I think because I am not planning on attending classes and I think I might cancel my gym membership at some point because I am actually a member of another gym through a different membership. So if I can cancel my gym membership and I'm not going to as many classes as I used to or any classes, I'm hoping that it will actually end up balancing out price-wise, but it is so expensive. But anyway, um, decided to buy a Peloton for lots of reasons. As you may remember, I was so into my fitness and my exercise um, pre-pandemic <laughs> and then the combination of pandemic plus pregnancy plus life madness last year meant that I just fell off and didn't, basically haven't been doing any regular exercise whatsoever. Um, and I have missed it so so much and one of my favorite things to do was spin and I know I'm sure all these companies are doing their absolute best to keep everything really safe I'm sure they've got loads of new methods for that like you know keeping the room ventilated and all of that kind of thing and spacing out the bikes but I just at the moment can't countenance going to a spin class and being in a room with them people heavily breathing and sweating. I just, it just doesn't appeal to me at the moment. But I love spin, it's my favorite form of cardio. I'm not a very good runner. I've tried so many times to become a runner and I'm just not a very good one. So that's one of the reasons why Peloton particularly appealed to me. Um, although I am very interested in doing the other classes on it as well, like I would love to do a bit of Pilates, some sort of strengthening work and also just strength training um but i'm not very good at doing that sort of thing by myself i need it to be sort of organized i need someone to tell me what i'm doing so it's not just cycling that i am particularly excited about about but also as we know i just have not got the time to be going to the gym i just can't get out of the house that much especially not as much as i used to but I really miss exercise. I find it so good for my mental well-being as well as my physical health. And I really want to do lots more of it and try and fit it into my daily life. But yes, I just can't go to the gym that much and I'm so bad at directing myself to do exercise. So I feel like a Peloton is a good in-between vibe for me where someone's gonna tell me what to do, but I don't have to leave the house. <laughs> etc. So that is why I have caved and got one. I had them set it up in the dressing room and although it's not very big it does look kind of huge in there and I'm thinking we might have to move it into the bedroom. Do you want to speak too? Oh really? But yes I wanted to film you know, the delivery of that today, but it has just not worked out like that. And anyway, I think our nap was slightly disrupted by the delivery process as well. So it wasn't very, it wasn't a very long nap in the end, but it is a good job we did come back because they didn't arrive long after. Anyway, the delivery process was excellent. They are so good there. They'll take it to the room that you want it in, which unfortunately for them was right at the top of the house. They set it up for you and I'll show you how to use it, which is so good. I think I can smell poo-poos. So yes, I will show you that um, today, imminently, um, and maybe we'll do a ride tomorrow. I don't know that I will actually have time to do one today, but I would love to fit one in tomorrow. 
and I'm really excited about it. I'm so excited to just be able to do exercise daily without having to think about it. Because you know, I can do it, I can be on my own in the house with her and do it during her nap time. And if I need to pause it and get off the bike and go sort her out, then I can do. It's just what I need at the minute, I think. So anyway, I have ordered some lunch today because um, it is just that kind of day. We don't have any leftovers yet because it's early in the week. Um, and I often have leftovers for lunch. So I've just ordered something. I've ordered a Leon and me and this little one are gonna hang out, I think, until our next nap, which is... Yeah? So that'll be nice. I don't know what we're gonna get up to. I want to read her more books, but she's very into eating everything at the moment. So she gets frustrated when she can't eat the book. I'm sure she'll grow out of that again and then reading will be back on, on the cards, but it is a little tricky at the minute, isn't it, miss? Just putting this down for a nap and I've come upstairs to admire my new bike and it does look absolutely humongous in here. So this was my fear, was that it was just gonna be a little bit too big for this top floor, but we're gonna work it out. I've just, you can see it's wonky. They did not leave it like this. I've just attempted <laughs> shifting it myself. Um, I was hoping it would fit this way, but alas, I think it probably won't. I could probably just about manage it and manage to open all the doors, but it would not be very convenient for actually getting in any of the wardrobes. So I think we're going to, I'm going to try and do it lengthways instead, have it looking out the window and that will definitely work in terms of the wardrobes. I think it's just a matter of making sure I've got enough room at the end along with this thing, which we kind of need to keep because it is so good for storage. I've already shifted it that way and that's fine. It is short enough that it will work with the wardrobes. So yes, we're gonna work it out. Look at this gorgeous big screen. I'm so excited. But anyway, I'm going to wait for Zach to get back <laughs> to shift it properly. So I'll show you and see if it works later on. If not, it will go in our bedroom. I know where it will go in our bedroom and I think it will fit. But I would rather keep it in here if possible. Hi my loves, so I'm coming to you from the future right now, but for all intents and purposes, I have reached the same stage as I was at uh, at this time in the vlog. I've just put the baby down to bed. I'm gonna have my evening shower. And I'm gonna shave my legs. Um, just, you know, holding on to the dregs of summer here. It's got to be done for me. Obviously, you can choose to shave, you can choose to not shave, you can choose to shave particular bits, but not other bits. You do whatever works for you. Um, I personally like a smooth leg. It's just what I like. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Estrid, who is sponsoring this part of the vlog. You may have seen them if you're on Instagram, because they are the coolest razor brand going and they have such aesthetically pleasing products. Like this one here, I am currently using the razor in peach. First of all, and I'm not just saying this, this gives me such a smooth, gentle shave. I love it. And the product itself, such high quality, it's really heavy in the hand. I have a feeling that's part of why it gives me such a good shave because it's just ergonomically right <laughs> for me. It comes in a selection of rather beautiful colors and just it's gonna look good in your bathroom. If you get the starter kit, you will get one of these little wall holder things as well, which I love. You just stick them on um, and it's just gonna hold your razor in a very pleasing manner. But there are lots of other good things about Estrid as well. For example, they do away with the pink tax. I'm sure lots of you are aware, but the pink tax is where things that are marketed towards women are typically um, made more expensive. And it's ridiculous. Estrid make these products as affordable as possible. Another amazing thing, which if you didn't know about it, you didn't know, but they're like strips on razors. A lot of them are not cruelty free. They're not vegan. Estrid is and also they try and minimize the amount of plastic that they use so you're still getting an excellent shave you can still change your razor heads but they make it as minimal as they can but very importantly Estrid are going to donate one pound of every order to the charity Women for Women which helps women affected by war rebuild their lives and Estrid will donate that one pound if you add the code Jess at the checkout all of those details will be down below if you want to remind yourselves of them and the link as well will be down below so yes that is it if you choose to shave i would highly highly recommend estrid and yes time for me to hop in the shower and shave but all those details will be down below for you hi my 
so just had my shower, got ready for bed. I, if I can, try and do that before I have dinner, but after I've put the baby down. At the moment it's working and yes, I'm very lucky because I don't make dinner, so I can do that. I think when we move into a house, I'm definitely gonna try and take up cooking again, like properly, like I used to be able to cook much better and I've just lost everything because I got very lazy because <laughs> Zach is such a good cook. Um, but yes, when I have my own kitchen, I definitely want to sort that out because it's not good. But anyway, <laughs> um, oh, that's a good point. I haven't mentioned that, well, hopefully it's in the title of this vlog, but um, we are gonna be doing a house update this vlog. Um, I'm gonna do that in a couple of days time. I'm very excited. I haven't actually been around to the house for a little while myself. Um, Zach's been sending me pictures when he's been around, but I am excited to see it. So something I'm going to do now is actually catch up with my book notes. I haven't been writing my book notes as I've been going recently just because, just for ease, but I have been making a note of pages and I've been reading a lot on my Kindle so I've been highlighting the stuff on there. So I'm going to write up all my book notes because this week I'm hopefully going to be doing my book video and I need to consolidate my thoughts uh, so that I can write my reviews and film the video. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna take my book downstairs and just write up my book notes. Okay, tell a lie, dinner was ready, so I'm gonna eat dinner first. of my vlogs in a minute. I should really just turn it on so I can see how whilst I'm speaking to you. So you don't have to listen to it. But it is the background noise to my life. Anyway, Zach and I are super tired, but we did just take the time to put this palette on in the correct position. It does look a little crazy. It does look a little crazy. <laughs> but um, also because, you know, Zach is tall. <laughs> um, we've had to make sure that it can go up to his seating position as well. So if it were just me, <laughs> I think we could have squeezed it into a slightly smaller space, but um, here we are. It does work better this way in terms of getting things in and out of the wardrobes. Um, it doesn't leave us with a lot of room here <laughs> or a lot of room over there. I think I'm going to get a stool because I usually roll my chair around to do my makeup. I think I'm gonna get a stool for over there because what is one more piece of furniture in this room, guys? Can't complain. I'm sure we'll get used to it really quickly. And I think it is better to have it in here than in our bedroom because it's just, in here is already <laughs> just crowded with stuff. So so that's that. Um, very excited to use this. Yeah, obviously it's gonna come with us to our house eventually. So, you know then there will be a more normal place for it to live. I don't know how normal. <laughs> I was thinking of maybe putting it in the loft and using one of those like nice screens. Um, you know the ones, like three part screens to hide it. Um, and then eventually if we do a garden shed, put this in there, maybe we'll have a desk and this. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, more of the same tomorrow, I think. And then on Thursday, we'll go to the house together. Um, I feel like I've been running around like a headless chicken all day, for which I apologise. I don't know how it's come across in the vlog, but I'm glad that I pushed through this morning. There are some days when you can push through the pain and you know that you can. And some days where you just have to be like, I'm taking the day off. Some days when pushing through makes you feel better. Sometimes it makes you feel worse. Today was a former. So I was able to get everything done, but I just did not feel good this morning. But we did, we did it, we did it. Um, and but but it does mean I have been running around like headless chicken all day, and <laughs> have not felt very with it on the vlog. But hopefully tomorrow will be less crazy. Hi, my loves. Good morning. I have just put the baby down for her first nap of the day, and in this nap, 
I'm going to furiously type as many of my book reviews as I possibly can. Um, I haven't actually got many reviews to write, but I think they're going to be long ones. So, well, I don't know. They might not be <laughs> by the time you see them. Um, they might be just whatever I could find the time for. I'm going to put on some white noise. I'm going to type, type, type. I did think, do I want to do this upstairs? But I actually find it easier to type and write stuff on a smaller screen. Um, the big computer is great for all sorts of things, but yeah, I definitely find it easier to write on the laptop. So let me know if that's the thing. I, I feel like it might be a thing. I just feel like it's more of a writing vibe. Anyway, I'm gonna get going because I don't know how long I've got and I really would love to get Stan in this nap. I've done it again. I've left my camera downstairs when I came to get the baby and this is when I put my shoes on. It's phone filming time again but this is my outfit today. Um, nothing super exciting um, but effective I hope. I'm wearing this shirt dress from And Other Stories which I've had for ages. I wore it a little bit when I was pregnant but it was a little bit too cold for it as well. Um, but yeah it's just like an oversized collarless shirt dress and then I'm wearing my bowed cardi jacket thing on top and then I was umming and ahhing over what boots to wear today and I thought I'd wear my Sinclair's my Doc Martin Sinclair's because I tried them on for my Doc Martin's collection reel that I did and I was like why don't I wear these more often they're really nice so that's what we're wearing today. I, I tell you why I don't wear them that often is because they're difficult to tighten um, because they've got a strange zip and um, lace setup. I think there's special ways of doing it which I need to look up online <laughs> and I'm going to do that but um, um, because actually I think my ankles and my calves are a little thicker at the minute they actually fit a bit better so um, they're working for me today but yes I think they're called Sinclair's aren't they? Um, anywho, um, the baby and I are gonna head out, I think. Um, we have retrieved her seat pack for her pram, finally. So I'm gonna try and attempt to put that together myself now. Um, I hope it's easy, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna put that together. Hopefully she'll be able to sit up and because she's got really good head control, core control and everything. I think that's what we're going to attempt now and see how we go. And I really need coffee, hadn't had one yet today. So let's do that. Right, wish me luck here guys. Don't know how this is going to go. Okay, I admitted defeat to the seat pack. It looks really complicated and it's like a three minute long tutorial, silent tutorial on YouTube, which is not helpful. I want someone to explain it out loud to me. And you know when the tutorial, the silent tutorial is three minutes long, you know it's gonna take you about 25 minutes. And the baby was watching me and then she decided to do a poo and I was panicking that it was going on her clothes because we obviously just put these clothes on. We usually get dressed after nap one of the day, so. Ugh. And then I was overcome by this overwhelming sense of insane hunger. <laughs> so I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I don't know if we'll get out for a walk before the next nap, so maybe we'll just go later today. Um, although I haven't said actually, we are going to sue me this week and we're actually gonna go. Hopefully the restaurant won't be closed. Sort of as like a makeup thing. Um, and we're gonna take the baby because we've got an earlier booking. So she will be getting out today anyway, even if we don't make it out for a walk. Hi my loves, I'm back again. 
So earlier I did all but one review, um, so I thought that was pretty good going actually and I've only got one short review left to go, so that is exciting and I'm looking forward to taking that off my list. Also what do we think about my waves this time around? But I did them a little bit looser, obviously this side's a bit wavier than this side, but I did them a little bit looser this time and I think it turned out nicely. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I showed you how I did my heatless waves in the last video. Not in the last video, in the last vlog. Anyway guys, I'm gonna write this final review. I don't know how long this nap will be, probably not that long, so I might just have time for that and that only, we'll see. Yes, I'm gonna wait for backup with the seat pack, I think. Wait for Zach to get back and we'll do it together, maybe. I'm hoping that you're going to recognise this setup because my book video has already gone up for you. I am going to film my book video. Did a little ride this morning, my first ride. It was really good. I can't wait to get into a proper routine with it. I feel like at the minute, Zach and I are really playing catch up on stuff to do from over the summer. Basically, essentially from my sort of kind of not really maternity leave as well. Um, so I'm hoping once everything is set in motion, things will be slightly less busy. <laughs> I don't know, that's probably not the case because now we've got the house, we've got the baby, things are happening. So it's probably never gonna be less busy again, but it's wishful thinking. But anyway, I need to find a good routine with it. But yes, but yes, I'm feeling the endorphins flowing. I'm gonna film my book video. I managed to get a lot of the prep done yesterday, so hopefully it shouldn't be too painful today. I should know what I'm talking about, which is always helpful. Um, so yes, I'm gonna do that, and I'll see you guys again in a bit. Oh, before I go, Sumi last night was so, so nice. Would definitely recommend it. The quality of the fish and the sushi itself is so good, like it's unreal. Um, I think the mains we were less convinced about, but the sushi is incredible. All the little side dishes are nice, the tamaki is really nice. So 10 out of 10 on that front. It is expensive. I think I would recommend going in like a smaller group, i.e. two of you, just so you can like order stuff to try. Because um, if there's more, the portions are quite small and it's just all a bit much to order lots of dishes for like four plus people. So I'd just go with one other person, but delicious, really delicious. And it is more relaxed and chilled than Endo was. And that's my mini restaurant review. I am now going to film this video. I love so. Oh, I really can't hear myself speak with this on. Well, I can, but it sounds ridiculous. I, it's still not quite lunchtime for us. Um, I'm gonna go to the house in a bit, I promise. I know I've been making you wait for this house update. We are going to go to the house a bit later today, but I thought I'd just get started on my edit. I actually have this on my list for tomorrow, but I have quite a lot of editing on my list for tomorrow, including this vlog. So, I thought if I could get started on this book video now, that will make a big difference. I've abandoned editing for a minute to take you to the house finally. I know, you've made your way through a lot of vlog to get to this moment. Maybe you've skipped your way here, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna go look at the house. I haven't been for a while. I'm excited to see it. 
I think it's gonna look like a big old mess. Um, we've left baby behind with Auntie Indy um, while well, she has a nap, but Indy is getting her window replaced today. So there's a lot of banging going on right next door to her room where she's napping. So I don't know how successful the nap's gonna be, but Indy is there to cover for us um, whilst we go to the house, because it is, yeah, not ideal for a baby over there at the minute. Um, so yes, that's what we're gonna do. It looks like a nice sunny day, of course. Today's the day I've not got my legs out. I just cannot get this weather right and dressing in a minute. Too hot, I'm too cold. I don't know what's going on. So guys, look at this garden. I don't know if anyone has any pictures of how crazy this place got in the end. I know I had shown you in recent times, but it was literally like from here, like a wall of green. It was just like impenetrable. <laughs> but obviously it has been cleared now and it's looking very big. The fencing is looking a little bit sad, probably because, you know, it's been a lot of greenery growing on it. Um, but it's a lot wider than I sort of remember, but I think it's because even when we just um, bought the house, like all these beds had green in. So obviously you can see, we can see the full width of it now. And it's nice, it's a good space. I mean, for a London garden, you cannot complain about this. Also, our outhouse is gone. There was a little loo here, very old fashioned. Um, and that has now disappeared as well. We're having a little bit of a time <laughs> with this because we thought we had, obviously we were gonna extend it up to the line of the outhouse, just get a little bit of extra space in the kitchen. We're adding, apologies for the drilling that you can hear, we're adding, all this will be in the kitchen. So this is the side return. And we thought we were adding a little bit on the end as well. Now, I don't know if you can see, it actually comes out a little bit already. Um, here's the issue, the architects. <laughs> Mm, not really, we didn't really know that they'd done this on the drawings have made it flush. So actually they've taken length off the kitchen. <laughs> so this is something we've only just discovered. I think this sort of thing is quite common when you're renovating a house, miscommunications. I mean, we thought we had said a million times, you know, oh, looking forward to it coming out to the outhouse boundary. And of course, that's what's on the planning permission. Um, it's the architect's drawings, not what we thought <laughs> was happening. So um, that is all That is all being discussed at the moment. Um, we might be able to do something, it's called permitted development. So there's two types of like permission that you get. There's planning permission where something has to go through the council, it has to be approved. Um, that's for slightly bigger things and then you're gonna have things that are permitted development. So stuff you can do without having to do all that. I think you still have to notify the council, but you don't have to get their approval. And who's, I think, that? I, don't know. I don't know exactly the exact rules, but anyway, there's two types. So obviously because it already exists, this little bit already exists, we're hoping that at least up to there, it will be permitted development, maybe even up to the outhouse line. And the problem was more to do with the height, planning anyway it's very boring but you know it's one of those things that tends to pop up when you're doing a big project like this and unfortunately it has popped up so anyway oh yeah I don't know if you guys can remember as well there was a weird mini conservatory here um, which was looking very worse for wear and that has now gone as well um, but obviously that's why this this door is just dropping into nothing because there was a little bit of conservatory and then there were some stairs like here so that's even more kitchen space so it's going to be pretty big we think um, and I don't know if I've mentioned this or whether I always forget to mention it but the, the, this floor is actually dropping so we're going to get a little bit of extra height it's dropping to the level of our basement. It doesn't all exist. Some of it needs to be dug out.
but so we're getting a bit of extra height even in this section of the kitchen um, we'll already have a bit of extra height in this section of the kitchen because the extension I believe is going up to the top of there right it should be three meters up to this so it's gonna be pretty tall and pretty big yeah, this has all been ripped out the ceilings are down you can kind of see <laughs> see and do up there from here now it's a little bit scary we brought Zach's parents around the other day and his mum was breaking it but yes the kitchen has been ripped out this chimney breast is going in like I've said that multiple times these rooms are still the same staying much the same really until we start messing around with this wall so here I'm gonna insert some footage of Zach <laughs> knocking down this one of these walls Okay, welcome back from that little um, footage. I think this door is a door to to nowhere at the minute. Um, anywho, as I have tried to explain before, but I think it might make a bit more sense now. This was a bedroom and a bathroom. It's now going to be a sort of more squarish dressing room. It's quite a big space. It's definitely a lot bigger than our current dressing dressing room. Um, however, so yeah, it's coming, the wall line will be here. So we're actually keeping a little bit more of the hallway than we thought, just because we want to keep this door, because we've decided not to do some of the work in the basement for funds reasons, it would be expensive, and we need a downstairs loo that isn't someone's ensuite, basically. So we're gonna have that here, um, where the original, there was a, there was a, Lou had like a bathroom here that was quite big and we're just gonna basically cut it so that it's one of these tiny little downstairs loo. So it'll be a loo and a sink and that's it basically. Um, but in order to do that we obviously need this door to stay so we obviously need the wall to the dressing room to be more like here and not coming from here. Don't know if that makes any sense is what it looks like from inside so we're gonna keep this window in the dressing room apparently actually there used to be a window here um, but it's been blocked off and I think we might reinstate that one so it might look a bit odd from the outside <laughs> but it would mean that both rooms have a window here it's kind of good to keep a loo here actually just in case someone did want to turn this back into an ensuite in the future um, you know, it means that all the stuff's there for them. So yeah, this chimney breast is going, as I've explained before, just to make the room a bit more box-like and a bit more easy to use um, with wardrobe. Apparently these holes will be where the steels go to support this. Steels is one of the main things we're gonna be doing um, in the next few months. But anyway, so this is the space. It looks pretty big, I think, and it's a little bit taller than our current dressing room as well, so I'm hoping that There'll be lots of space. The only thing is it's going to be a little bit narrow, I think, once you've got the wardrobes in. It's not going to be a lot of space in the middle, but it's just a, it's actually a longer room and a slightly taller room, but it's just going to be narrow in the middle. So we're probably not going to have a lot of stuff in the middle. We're not going to have an island or anything like that. 
which was maybe the original plan. Maybe we'll have like a bench, bench something, something to sit on, put shoes on, um, something like that. Um, and this section here will be less wardrobe, so under the window will be like a desk and some drawers and stuff like that, and that will be my dressing table situation, which I think will be really nice. I've got some natural light to do my makeup by. As you know, I do not currently have. Okay, coming up the stairs. I haven't seen any of this yet, so it looks pretty great. So I showed you our master bedroom with the wall out, but now you can see into the loft. The ceiling is gone. I mean, it looks amazing. If we didn't desperately need the space slash the space by adding the space will add value to the house, this would be so cool. This would be so cool to have like as a double height. And like a mezzanine bathroom over there. Yeah, with like a mezzanine or something, but alas, it is not to be, but it does look incredible. It looks really, really, really cool. So yeah, so that's our loft space up there. We're obviously extending it and making it bigger, more full height in more parts of it. It's quite a decent space already. It's the first brick that's gone into the house. The first thing that's gone in. Apparently, the this, there. apparently this is the first brick to enter the house. The first new thing to be put in. So yes, so this is the bedroom into the bathroom. Still thinking about what we want to do with this doorway. Do we want to keep it that size? Probably, because it's not a huge room, so you don't want to have a huge doorway into the bathroom, especially because you want the bathroom to have some sense of privacy to it. What kind of door do we want? All of that we have to think about. I'm very much hoping that we're going to have a working fire here, and then my bath's going to be in front of it which will be so nice. You can hear the baby on the monitor, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but anyway, the other thing to think about is the stairway here, um, Whether because we probably can't continue it looking like this without it looking a bit odd, so we need to think of some good stair fix for here. Go from here up into the next floor. In this room, obviously, is break room currently, um, and there's a hole in the floor. <laughs> um, and this fireplace is staying in her room. We, we won't make it a working fireplace, I'm not mad. No, but we'll always take that. But we will have a Retiles. place. Hey guys, that's our little house update. So I think the next things will be big structural things, putting steels in. Yeah, the, the loft is the first thing to get done. The loft will be the first thing to get done properly. All the steels for the loft are staying the same um, as on the designs, but obviously the steels for the extension might be changing depending on what we're doing there with the line, the end, the end of the kitchen. We need to get on that. And yeah, there probably isn't gonna be a whole load of exciting stuff to show you aesthetically because it is big structural work at the minute, but I will keep you updated if there's anything, you know, once stuff goes on up in the loft I will show you but yes that is our update the big rip out is are we nearing we're nearing the end of the rip out surely yeah we just need to take out some more of all the all the plumbing all the electrics yeah. um take down some more more ceilings even take off the roof I think. Still like quite well. hi my so uh we came back I finished my edit in case you hadn't noticed, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, um, these days, Thursday, Friday, are like my work days. I am primary baby person, first half of the week, Thursday, Friday, is kind of Zach's primary day, so I can get some bits done. It's kind of working for us at the minute, of course, we could do with some time together, <laughs> to work together, but um, it's, it's, it's working at the moment. Anyway, um, came back, edited my book video, got everything sorted and uploaded for the weekend, which is so good. It means one less thing to do tomorrow. And I was just about to take this outfit off when I remembered I hadn't filmed it. So I'm gonna film it really quickly. I feel great in this. This is the kind of thing that I love wearing the most. Please try and ignore this button. I still need to sort out the fly on these jeans. It's just, I need to like iron it really, really stiffly like that but that's just how they fall at the minute but anyway wearing these ray jeans this old levi's shirt got a t-shirt underneath got my air force ones on 
I just love it, feel very comfy. I just put the baby down to sleep for the night. She's not actually asleep yet, but hopefully she will be soon. And I am gonna shower, get ready for bed, and sign off from this vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it didn't feel too chaotic. It has felt a little bit chaotic the last few days. Um, like I said earlier, just trying to catch up with lots of tasks and just get things in motion. All the other little bitty tasks that I've needed doing for a little while. So yes, anywho, I'm gonna hop in the shower now. I am starving, so I'm very much looking forward to my dinner. Thank you so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you again very soon. Not sure what my next video will be. Maybe a Q&A and there'll definitely be more vlogs to come in the future. Bye.